Hey guys, um, this is a quick video. I'm going to put it in the category of a, a workflow tip. Something I just discovered uh, accidentally, entirely by accident. Um, so what I've got open here on my screen, you see I've got Rapid Composer on, uh, on my right side. And uh, on my left side I've got Ableton Live. And uh, I kind of like this workflow because what you can do is you can, uh, if you hold down the control key, uh, you can grab and put your mouse over uh, the the instrument track where where the instrument it says stereo grand, and just hold it. You can drag. You can drag the MIDI on that track right over to uh, Ableton and then you know you've got your editing tools there and you know Ableton has got this great capability of you know having all these clips and being able to audition them I, I don't have to tell you you know if you use Ableton at all <clears throat> I mean it, it's clearly like one of the premier uh, DAWs and it's got some uh, very special strengths that really none of the other DAWs have now you could do this with uh, another DAW like Studio One or Cubase or something, but what I like about um, Ableton is that you know you can drag these things into cells. I, I just like the whole uh, capability you have in the uh, with the cells and all that. Okay, that's so that's the the basic workflow. Uh, it you know uh, if that's something that you know you think. Uh, would help you out then uh, then I you know give it a try now there is one thing uh, if you uh, what I would recommend if you're going to try this out uh, with any DAW uh, go into your settings and under your audio uh, choose like uh, if you're running Windows um, you know choose like the Windows driver because I think if you if you try to choose the, the ASIO driver, the same driver that you're going to use for your DAW, I think you run into some problems. Uh, I'm not sure what to do on a Mac. I don't I don't know if uh, this is a problem or not. I really have no idea. Uh, but on a on a PC, you know, uh, Rapid Composer, you know, works great using the you know the uh, built-in Realtek high definition driver comes with just about every you know PC that I you know modern PC anyway so I'd recommend doing that and you won't have any problem uh, okay now the the tip that I I discovered um uh, entirely by accident is that over here you know you've got this uh, this loop brace in Rapid Composer, like you do in just about any doll, right? Now, here's the tip: if if you select a loop brace, like let's say these two measures, and then I drag over the MIDI from from this track, it's going to just drag over the MIDI uh, that's under the loop brace. So it's just going to do measures one and two. So if I just do measure one it's only going to drag the MIDI in uh, in measure one just this first phrase so you can uh, you can move this loop brace around if you want you know the MIDI under let's say measure two or, or whatever you want you know you, ex you can expand the loop brace maybe you want to get the MIDI for all four measures uh, so you can do that so that's the tip um, I think it can be really useful because sometimes you'll make um, you'll make a nice phrase and and really all you want to do is is just take that little snippet and maybe you'll have different versions because you know you can use uh, let me play this. Uh, I was kind of experimenting with this phrase that starts in measure two I was playing around with this re-rhythmized phrase variation 
and I started getting some nice results. So, uh, you know, and then you can click on this little gizmo, and each time you click on it, the phrase will change. So what you can do is you could uh, set your loop brace to uh, just measure two. Let me uh, hold on a minute. Okay, so you could just set the loop brace to measure two, and then just drag in all, uh, you know, your little clips or measure two. Okay, so you, I could change this again, drag that in, and each time I'm getting a different clip. Okay, so that's the tip. I, I hope it helps, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.